energy triangle, it is important that you change all of your information in the question into the correct units. For EH, which is energy release, we always measure that in kilojoules. C, which is the specific heat capacity of water, can be given in your data booklet and is always 4.18. The mass of water heated would be measured in kilograms or litres. So we need to know that one litre is equal to one kilogram. And the change in temperature is usually given, but sometimes we have to calculate that by doing a takeaway. When we use the energy triangle, this calculation is worth three marks. So the first mark is for using the correct expression, and that can be rearranging the triangle to find another a uh, subject matter. And then usually substituting the constant up for water, which is 4.18, which can be found inside the data booklet. The second mark is for using the correct data and the correct units. So that's making sure, for instance, that we change the mass of water into litres before substituting it into our equation. And the third mark is for calculating your final answer using all of your data that you've substituted. Sometimes if you lose a mark earlier, you will get a follow through mark for using the numbers that you've put into your calculation. So let's have a go at a worked example. The question asks us to calculate the energy in kilojoules when 0.1 grams of methanol is burned and raises the temperature of 100 centimetres cubed of water by 11 degrees. First thing that we want to do is write out the correct formula. In this case, they want us to calculate energy. So EH is equal to CM delta T. We want to substitute in the constant of C, which is the heat capacity of water from our data booklet, as 4.18. That gets us one mark. We then have to look at the mass of water. We can see that the mass of water given is 100 centimetres cubed. That's not into the correct units of litres. So we have to do a unit conversion. So 100 centimetres cubed, when we cross multiply, gives us 0.1 litres. We then are given the actual change in temperature. So there's no need to calculate that as 11. That whole formula together would give you your second mark. And when we pop that into the calculator, you get an energy released as 4.598. Now, I've remembered to put this as exothermic. You will not be penalised for this in your exam for National 5. But obviously, exothermic reactions release the heat energy. So therefore, it will be a negative value. The second example asks us to calculate the energy in kilojoules when 0.5 grams of propanol heats 50 centimetres cubed of water from 25 degrees to 43 degrees. First thing that we're going to write down is the formula. EH is equal to CM delta T. We want to substitute the constant of 4.18 in and that gets us our first mark. We then have to look at the information and put it into the correct units. So we can see that the mass of water given, it's given as 50 centimetres cubed. We have to change that into litres. So once we convert that, we get 0.05 litres. This time we've got two numbers for temperature, which means we need to calculate the change in temperature. So we take small numbers away from big numbers. So when we do 43 take away 25, we get our change in temperature as 18 degrees Celsius. This gives us our second mark. When we put that into the calculator, we get an energy released as 3.762. Remember, you won't get penalised if you don't put in the negative at National 5. Here's a third example in a little bit of a different format. The table below shows the results of an experiment in which butan 1 oil was burned and the heat transferred to 200 centimetres cubed of water. Calculate the energy produced by the fuel. So again, first thing we want to do is write out the correct formula. So we've got EH is equal to CM delta T. We substitute in the water, the heat capacity of water, because that's what we're heating up. Um, as it says, the heat is transferred. So we put in the constant value given in the data booklet as 4.18. We can see that the volume of water is 200 centimetres cubed. So we have to change that into the correct unit. So when we convert that, we get 0.2 litres. And this time in the table, they're giving us our starting temperature and our ending temperature. So we do a takeaway, 37 minus 19 gives us 18. That gives us our total second mark by making sure that our information is in the correct units. And the third mark is for putting that into our calculator, which means the energy released would be 15 kilojoules. <laughs>
this past paper question is from the National 5 2014 written 9C. It asks us to calculate the energy required to increase the temperature of water to 30 degrees. So the first thing we want to do is write out our formula, is wanting us to calculate energy. So we write EH is equal to CM delta T. We can see that it says the temperature of the water. So we put the heat capacity of water from our data booklet as 4.18. That gets us one whole mark. We look for the mass of water. What we can see is that is given in kilograms. So remember, we wanted our water in kilograms or litres, so there's no need to do a unit conversion. We can just pop that straight into our calculation. But we do have a change in temperature. There are two degrees Celsius given in the question. We're given 30 and we're given 10, so we have to do a takeaway. Remember, we take small numbers away from big numbers, so we do 30, take away 10, which gives us our change in temperature as 20. All of that information plotted in, gives us our second mark. And then when we put it into the calculator, we get the energy released as 2090 kilojoules. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2022, written 6B. Calculate the energy in kilojoules absorbed by the water in the chemist's experiment. So the first thing we do is write out the formula. It's wanting us to calculate energy, so we write EH is equal to CM delta T. We can substitute in the heat capacity of water as 4.18 and that gives us one mark. The next mark is for making sure that we've got the rest of the information into the correct units. So we look for the mass of water and in the table we can see the information of mass of water heated is 200 grams. So we have to change that into kilograms. So that would give us a 0 0.2 when we convert that. We then have to work out the change in temperature. We take small numbers away from big numbers. So if we do 35 minus 23, that gives us a change in temperature as 12. All that information plotted in gives us our second mark. And the third mark is for putting it correctly into your calculator. And when we do that, we get 10 kilojoules of energy released.